dessert. Okay, you want yellow and you want blue? And I can't decide. I think we have a tiebreaker. We're going to have a tiebreaker question and the person that wins that challenge gets the advantage in the next challenge. Okay, blue team, yellow team, first correct answer wins the advantage. Are you ready? Yes. Your question is, what color is the clover? Clover. Yellow team, you were first. What's the answer? Blue. Blue, that's incorrect. Blue team? Red. Red? That's correct. Blue team wins the advantage. I knowing that the milk jug was right in front of me with the actual clover, <laughs> clover on it, I could have just easily just red. Okay, blue team, you won that, which means that you win the advantage going into the next challenge, which is the tag team challenge. And Coco's gonna tell you more about that. This is where our three teams cook the same dish from exactly the same recipe. But for us, to make it more challenging, we've decided to make it in a relay. So each member of the team will cook on its own separately. <laughs> Charisma, because you won this challenge, you will decide who's going to start off. So you can either start off with Big Cook or Little Cook. And the opposition teams, Team Red and Team Yellow, is going to have to do the opposite. The thing about this challenge is that I can call a swap over at any point in time whilst you are baking, and then you'd have to swap. The good news, however, is that closer to the end of the challenge, you guys will be able to work together. Understand? Yes. Ready? Yes. Do you guys want to know what you're making? Yes. Okay. It's going to be a toffee, banoffee, whoopie pie. That's what you're going to be doing. We can't even pronounce it. I don't know what a toffee banoffee whoopie pie is. So please, teams, go back to your stations. And let's start baking. <laughs> toffee banoffee whoopie pie. pie. Toffee banoffee whoopie pie is a dessert pie of two equal-sized biscuit halves with a toffee caramel filling. The word banoffee is used to describe food that tastes or smells of both banana and toffee. Contestants are free to be creative by adding anything from the pantry table. Okay, Charisma, you guys won the last challenge. Have you decided who's going to go first in yes, this? Yes, we've decided. And? Uh, the Big Cook will go first. Big Cook is going to go first. Yes. Okay, that means for Team Yellow and Team Red, that's the reverse. Big Cooks are going to have to come out. And get ready to make the Toffee Banoffee Whoopie Pie. Okay, start cooking. I wanted to go first because I know that I would be better measuring things and doing everything else. So, mm. yeah, well done. exactly. I could see her like sitting on the chair, like <laughs> constantly watching my every move. Seeing my daughter up there without me, it was like I felt so helpless. You know, I didn't want her to panic. I was sitting there and watching him and just hoping that he would remember what we went through. And the fan. I started panicking when he couldn't find the stuff. It's on your table, Sam. After the break, we'll see which team really shines. Welcome back to Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. The race to the finish line is on... Straight down there. There we go. Cut all the way. Now you just draw circles. You need how many circles do you need? Oh, 42. 42. Cut it into smaller pieces if you want. To make it easier. How are you doing the circles now? No, I'm still oh. putting everything out for you. I think we made a, a good strategic move by the big cook putting everything out first. You guys can swap. 
So you've got a few seconds. Tell your teammate where you are in the recipe before you leave. Okay, so I've done everything. Okay, you see. just need to finish the mashing bananas and you need to salt in the 80 grams of clover spring rope. I'll sift the flour and the salt and put the corn up. Salt down. Yeah, where am I? No, no, no. Relax. Just relax, no? I feel a lot nervous working on my own. And, but I think that it's going to go well, just like the first round did. So now I'm thinking, nope, it's fine. I got this. No worries. Just cut. It doesn't have to be straight. Just cut. Just no, cut. I'm trying to. Don't draw them too, too close together. Okay. So that's the last line, eh? Yes. Okay, good. Cut it into smaller blocks. Okay, cooks, it's time for a swap. When she said swap, I was like in a in a trance. I'm like, no! <laughs> okay, now I've done this. Don't worry about this, okay? All you need to do is do the, the circles. Just add the sh uh, the yeah. sugar and sugar together. Yeah, that's okay. Just mix it, mix it, mix it. Takes a while. It becomes all creamy, you know, like a nice little cream. Yeah, that's it, yeah. He still needs to add the egg and the butter. All this got in there now is the butter and the sugar, which he mixed now creamy. And now he needs to add the egg. And once the egg is fully incorporated, he needs to add all the banana and the mass and all the dry ingredients folded in and then need to fill in the piping bag and it's basically done. But it's a very important step now he's got to do there. Sam, put it in and then. <laughs> okay, cooks, it's time for a swap over. I was quite relieved because I know if I did anything wrong, Mom will fix it. <laughs> so... I always fix everything. Yeah. Fixes everything. I've just done the circles and I've just beaten the eggs. Okay. Awesome, love. We're folding right now. Mm. When I came to the station, I saw that the egg was in the flour. And when I was trying to fold it in, it wasn't working. And the chef came through and he helped me in showing me what to do and it worked out. And then you'll put in a piping bag and, and piping. Mix it with the spoon. Yeah. Mom was about to cut and then put the mixture in. So then I told her, Mom, put the mixture in first so that when you put the mixture in, it doesn't come oh. out of the hole. Oh, well done, huh? Clever girl. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> we compliment each other. <laughs> and swap, cooks. You just need to pipe a few more, right? This one, Mom. Is it close the oven quickly? Is it on 200? Time for a swap, cooks. You just need to do the chocolate. The cream then, as I made a rich dance. I'm just doing the spot. There. Coco, we're 40 minutes into, into this baking. How do you think it's going? Yellow are doing perfectly. Everything is on time. They even, um, th I think, ahead of time. Are they okay, Mom? Yeah. Red have everything under control. They're gonna start doing the the filling. It's okay. I'm scared about blue team. It says in another medium mixing bowl, beat the. Listen, it looks like baking. It's really not a. Does it say medium bowl or large bowl? I think they're all going to be finished on time, but it's very tense at the moment. You know, I didn't think it's going to be as tense as it is at the moment. OK, team, I have a good news for you. You can now work together. Woo! Yay, Elia. 
Joe, 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 the circus. Okay, you, Joe, you have to take it out and beat it. It burned. So then I had to make another one. So we're in a hurry to finish and at least get this batch done. That's where things started to go wrong. I'm fine. Forget yeah. I look good. I'll do the rest. When they said work together, the, the time had already way gone past and I kept on telling mom, we need to take them out of the <laughs> oven. I think these are the burns. No, no, they go, those will go underneath. She's like, no, no, they still need to rise. The first batch didn't seem to rise too well. So I'm mean, gonna put in another tray. Okay, but we're doing okay. When we, when we took it out of the oven, everything was stuck together like a cake. And I'm like, I am never making this recipe again. Otherwise, the content and everything that we made and we mixed was okay. I've... Top there. Samir, you want to bring me some pecan nuts? How much? Bring it in a bowl. Set the try there for now, good girl. Then take these and make a sandwich. Take these. It doesn't look like how it was supposed to look like, but maybe the taste will come through for us. Just do a little bit. Bigger ones. Replace it all of it? Yes. I just make it look pretty. We have 30 seconds remaining. Shucks. I didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't even ask mom. I just went to the table to get yeah. some almonds because our plate was looking a bit boring. And then instead of dusting the cocoa, she was I'll just like. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking. Hands up. Which team managed to master the Toffee Banoffee Whoopie Pie? And the team that wins the Tag Team Challenge goes through to the next round, and that's the semi-finals, where the competition stakes are higher and tighter. Cooks, it has been an incredible time in this kitchen, and you have impressed us all in one way or another. Unfortunately, though, there can only be one team that goes through to the semi-finals. Martin, would you like to call a team up? I would like to start with the red team. Please bring up your dish to the judge's table. Your toffee banoffee whoopie pie. I love that name. Thank you, Samir. Please do the honor. I like the combination of that whipped cream, which is without sugar on top. I would have just maybe want a little bit more of that feeling. It would have been perfect. Well, from the presentation point of view, to start off, they are round and they've risen quite nicely in the oven. So certainly, from that point of view, already a comeback. Peanuts are nice and crunchy on top. Gives it a nice texture. Thank you. Well done. I would like to see the blue team at the judging table. You know, we'll count on our first activity uh, challenge that we had. We were first. I like the fact that you came up with some originality of not doing them in a round but in square. <laughs> okay? My oh, pleasure. <laughs> But let's see with the test. I'm really trusting that Chef Coco is going to turn this whole thing around because he's the one who's mostly been helping me. So I hope he'll understand and try to trick the other judges' minds so we can win. <laughs> the biscuit itself is certainly nice and soft. Uh, the filling, very tasty. 
but I think the biscuit could have cooked a little bit more. Yes, they are nice and soft, maybe too soft. A different way of making a whoopie pie. <laughs> well, it's certainly tasty. And the cocoa, I like actually cocoa because a little bit of bitterness, it cuts into the sweet. Thank you. What I love about you, and that's why your team is called Charisma, is that you put a lot of love and effort in what you do. And as a mom, I can taste the love in that. So well done. Thank you. The only thing I have to say is um, we'll wait and see what the judges say. If you don't make first, then hopefully second, but not last. <laughs> that's, not, that's not our game. For the yellow team, please bring up your toffee banoffee pie. I think we're both being a little bit down because we, we're perfectionists and we didn't like the outcome of our whoopie pie. So we're not feeling very confident, confident. at the moment. So. The two of you always do so well in terms of presentation, don't you? It's a proper banoffee. The taste is there. That little biscuit on top, very, very soft, nice, and a little bit of crunchy as well. And that cocoa powder also goes very well. Just enough filling, not too much. So I'm very pleased. It's crunchy. The filling's very nice. I really, really like the filling. The cream on top. The biscuit may be a little bit too long in the oven. It's a bit, bit dry, but the extra cream on top and the extra filling in the middle might just make it up for it. Thank you, well done. When the judges taste your food, you, like, you don't want to hear that it didn't you taste wanna, nice. You, you just want to put your was... plate in front and <laughs> run away. The judges and I are going to go and discuss and deliberate right now, and we'll be back. I'm excited. Um, I'm actually really nervous too, and all at the same time. I think we did well enough. We came to have fun, and winning would be perfect. <laughs> but good luck to all the teams, and may the best team win. Contestants, you all did a fantastic job throughout all challenges, we were all very, very impressed. But as you all know, there can only be one winner to go through to the semi-finals. And this team... Sugar and Spice, yellow team. How are you feeling, Sugar and Spice? Too many emotions. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Oh, great time. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming, guys. The great news is that you don't go away empty-handed. We've got some fantastic consolation prizes from Clover. Well done to all of you. Thank you. Next week, we'll meet three new talented family teams who are eager to share their family recipes. So be sure to join us then for another cook-off. From all of us here at the Clover Kitchen, good night. <laughs>